The oldest Polish hall in the country is welcoming people in for Pulaski Days with more than half a million dollars in renovations. News 8's Kyle Mitchell live in Grand Rapids with a look at the progress. Kyle? Jackson Street, uh, Jackson Street Hall here is already serving food. The money raised will help support the project that's revived the look of the hall over the past year. A transformation giving a new life to a historic building in Grand Rapids. We've been waiting for that sign to top off this project, so it means a lot. Crews finished installing the new sign just in time for Pulaski Days. It's kind of the answer to a, a lot of prayers. So, um, you know, and community involvement, uh, the amount of hands that have come on to do this has really been amazing. The Polish National Aid Society was founded in 1878 with Jackson Street Hall opening 10 years later. One year after the renovation project began in 2023, the improvements are hard to miss. They were struggling. Donations were coming just to keep the hall alive to make this weekend happen. Today, today, it's good to know that they're, they're standing on their own, they're self-supporting, with, with a $600,000 renovation. The members, community, and businesses have donated money and their time to update and restore the building. It's been a year-long project so far. And just to put, be able to put that on and for people to see, showcase the Jackson Street Hall this weekend. We've done a lot of work here, so we're proud of it, yeah. The hall received a new roof, windows, and siding. The improvements on the inside include new bathrooms, lighting, and plumbing. A ramp will be installed to make the building handicap accessible. The people, the community, look at this place now. We're going to be around for a long time. The effort has also meant more members to help keep it going for future generations. Uh, last week, we topped over uh, 306 members. Um, now, compared to a year ago, we we're probably just a little over 75. So it's, it's been a boom, and it's been very successful for us on that end. The hall will be open until 1 a.m. You'll have another chance tomorrow to stop by for Pulaski Days here from 11 a.m. to 1 a.m. on Sunday. Live in Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.